Nathan here with a tutorial on how to color grade your footage shot on a Canon T2i. It doesn't really matter which camera, by the way. It's just to get this wasteland sort of action movie effect. And I'm gonna show you the uh, my way to color correct it, and you can follow those steps to get this result. So I'm gonna play some of this footage and see how nice that looks. It looks very cinematic. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, first step is I already have a, a clip loaded in the tutorial. This is what the original footage looked like. And again, here's the after. Okay, so first what we're going to do is double click on this. So we don't have any filters loaded in yet. So what you first want to do is go in and go down to color correction. I already have it open. And choose your three-way color corrector. First thing you want to drop in. And what you want to do next is turn your blacks, tint your blacks slightly, slightly blue. About that much is good. And move this down about so it looks like about 40%. And see how that just turned the shadows, kind of like a blue tint, darken them a little bit. And you want to do sort of the same with your mids. And tint them a little blue and instead of moving it down so what it looks like 40% move it so it's about 48 and next you want to turn your whites uh, slightly blue and leave your leave your level about the default kind of where this line is right here Okay, so next thing you want to do is find your there your HSV adjust. I'm gonna go back to filters here, and we'll put that oops, put that on top of the color corrector. So it's kind of the, so your color corrector's on the bottom. Your HSV adjust is above that, and what you want to do is uh, move your saturation down a little bit. I have what I have in the uh, clip that I just showed you. I have it at negative 0.64 for the saturation. Uh, my value is uh, 1.12 and I keep the mix at 100% because that's kind of how you get the effect. You know. See if you adjust the mix here, it kind of mixes it between. It, ch it just changes the level, the whole effect, or the whole uh, HSV adjust. Okay, next, what you want to do is find your brightness and contrast. Put that on top of the HSV adjust, and turn your contrast up to about uh, 1.11. That's what I have it set to. And see, you can kind of get this the same effect. And now the next thing you want to do is grab your your vignette, which I'm not sure where it is, but you can just search it. Instead of going through all these folders, you can just search up any effect. It'll pop up there. It's under stylize. Okay, so move the vignette to above the brightness and contrast, so it's on top of everything. But you want the size to be oh, uh, 0.51. Out there, your fall off. Um, I have my fall off set to be 0.64. And, uh, oh, my blur mount. My blur mount, I have it set to 13. My darken. Um, you're gonna want to darken the image a little bit, so by default set to uh, 0.3. I have mine set to about uh, 0.53. Yeah, 
uh, my saturation, I lowered my saturation down a little bit. Have it set to um, 0.42, or negative 0.42, there you go. And don't do anything with the mix. And here you get kind of the same effect that you did. And to give it the cinematic look that you're looking for, you want to go for the widescreen filter. Or it's not really filter, it just crops it. But anyway, the widescreen, let's set that to there, 2.35 over 1. That's the ratio. And there you get your cinematic effect. And you can adjust your offset to pretty much whatever you want it to. It depends on how your image is framed. Um, for me, just for this particular shot, I have it set to negative, negative 74. And that's about it for the tutorial. All I need to do is render your footage. Alright, now that our footage is rendered, that's about it for the tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.